Hey man, Dave here, and before we get started, I wanna thank you guys because we just hit the 5,000 subscriber milestone. I wanna thank you guys for helping me get there and for joining along for the ride. And if you're watching now and you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure to smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more awesome new videos. Anyway, man, let's keep it moving with today's video, and that's gonna be all about the things that girls secretly want us guys to do. The more you do these things, the more girls are gonna like you. Sound good, bro? Let's do it. Number one is to look fresh. Now, if you don't have good hygiene, girls are not gonna wanna hang around with you, bro. That means you're gonna shower up, smell good, and take care of yourself. Don't let your beard get too out of hand. Always try to trim it up and have it looking good. And make sure to blow dry and gel that hair so it's looking fresh as well. And hey man, you can even wear a nice watch to accessorize a little bit and show her that you care about how you look. When you're looking good, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna play good, and you're gonna feel confident. So stop making excuses and start looking fresh. <laughs> daily subway gains in the pull port classic always gonna love some good subway gains anyway it's time for number two and that is to approach her listen bro these girls out here looking hot for a reason they ain't just sitting there curling their hair in the bathroom wearing a nice dress just so they can smile at themselves when they look in the mirror they want a guy like you to go up and say hi. Because if she goes up and does it and gets rejected, there's a lot of social consequences to that. You know, the bitchy girls are gonna look at her weird. The dude might judge her. So she's counting on a guy like you to ball up, go up and say hi to her and take her night from average to awesome. So when you're sitting there in the corner, all nervous about what the girl is gonna say to you, just remember, you're about to make her night or her day a whole hell of a lot better and more fun. Now, if you're still afraid to approach girls, then make sure to check out my free video course on flirting and conversation. In it, you're gonna learn the exact things to say to start a conversation and flirt with any girl. Just click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description to get instant access to that first video. Oh, what's up guys? Number three is to bring the fun. Now check it out man, there are way too many boring ass dudes out there who just do the same boring shit when they go up and talk to a girl. The girl's sitting there like, again? Like again with this shit? Now you might be thinking, yo Dave, how do I bring the fun? Do I gotta rock a clown nose? Do I gotta paint my face? What do I gotta do bro? It's a lot simpler than that man. A simple tip is to use self-amusement. So let's say you meet a couple of nice Danish girls. You could joke about how you're a huge fan of cheese danishes. If you meet a couple of Scots, you could talk about how Braveheart stole your heart. The key to self-amusement is to just kind of say stuff that you yourself think is funny and that energy is gonna transfer to the conversation. It's gonna make you laugh and it's probably gonna make her laugh too. And speaking of bringing the fun, I wanna show you guys this really, really cool park we kind of stumbled into the other day and it's way cooler than this one. I mean, this park is all right, but when you guys see this next park, you're gonna be like, oh shit. We are here in the park now, check it out. funny man a lot of times I'll go to fly my drone and some random dude or like a little kid or something will come up and try to start a conversation with me about the drone and about like flying it and they'll try to talk to me while I'm filming it's like bro can I drone in peace or what anyway man I'm gonna sit down right here it's time for number four and that is to be dominant listen man if a girl likes you she wants you to make it easy for her she wants to be able to sit back like I'm doing right now and enjoy the ride with you it's almost like you're Santa Claus she's Rudolph it's Christmas night and you just gonna take those reins and bring her home bro but to do that you're gonna have to be dominant so here's a few easy ways you can be dominant 
Number one is to take initiative and make plans. You know, tell her, let's hang out on Thursday. Let's do this, this, and this, and let's make it happen. That makes it easy for her. All she has to do is say yes. Another thing you can do is lead her home from the bar. She might like you, but she's not gonna say, hey Dave, let's go home and fuck. She's probably not gonna say that, right? She's gonna keep hanging out with you and hope that you make some sort of move and you know lead things to that next level. So bro, if you're having fun with a girl, maybe at a bar, or club, or on a date, get in the habit of asking if she wants to go home with you. Maybe, hey, let's go back to my house for a drink. And once you're back there, at least the magic has a chance of happening versus no chance at all. In general, man, dominance is really just taking the lead and going for what you want in any given moment. So get in the habit of doing that, bro, and stop supplicating to the world. All right, so I've been walking around this park for the past like 15 minutes. My Google Maps is not working and I'm trying to find my way out. Right now I'm trapped, but I hear a car in the distance. I think that's gonna be our way out. We'll see in about two seconds. You guys, so I found my escape route. It's right over this creepy ass bridge through the forest. All right, man, we made it out of the park alive. Man, I'm like Steve Irwin over here, just taking you through all this nature. Maybe call me Danger Dave. Shit's crazy. Anyway, speaking of survival, it's time for number five, and that is to pass her tests. And bro, that's a whole different type of survival. Now, you might be thinking, all right, Dave, why is a girl gonna test me if she just wants me to pass the test anyway? Well, listen, man, there's so many chode ass dudes out there. You know, dudes who just, act like they're cool but really they just kind of suck and it's hard for a girl to be able to figure that out just by a short conversation with him and so she has to test him so don't get mad at it bro look at it as an opportunity you know the more of her tests that you pass the better chance you have to make something happen with her and like I've said before the best way to pass her test is to disagree and exaggerate so if she says something like oh like you're probably with a different girl every night you could be like, yeah, I am with a different girl every night, but I do need a Tuesday girl. And then change the subject and keep the conversation going. That's all you really need to do to pass her test, bro. But yeah, guys, I actually lost a little connector cable to my iPhone headphones, so I, I haven't been able to listen to my music and shit. It's been driving me crazy, so there's an electronics store right around the corner. I'm gonna check it out and see if they have one. Yes, yeah, really riding a, she's riding a unicycle right now. What is going on over here in Berlin? This city is ridiculous. Alright guys, so... I, I found exactly what I'm looking for. Talk to the guy. It is not actually 89 euros for these. So, we're good. It's only about 9. So, lifesaver. Hold up, check this shit out. I think I'm gonna have to raise this up for a second. Just be careful when you sit on it. With the VR? You can put the VR headset? Of course. All right, cool. I mean, you guys from the States are really crazy, but... <laughs> All right, I've never even tried this before, so we'll You see. just have to sit on it. What's your name, by the way? Eric. Eric? Dave, man. Nice to meet Good you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Uh, English? Okay, nice. <laughs> no, I wasn't stuck. I'm just gonna, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, actually super cool dude working over there at the media market, helped me get the headphone jack. And he also saw me trying to film myself with the video card game and he came over and offered to help out. It really is easy to make friends pretty much anywhere you go. Anyway, let's hit the river for number six. All right, so we're here by this nice peaceful little river in Berlin and it's time for number six and that is to stop trying to impress her. Now listen man, there's so many dudes out there who are try hard. They do everything they can to try to force jokes and make girls laugh. They try to brag about, you know, certain things about their life. Like, oh yeah, like I have a Lamborghini. Or I travel the world and I make money. It's like, yo, cool story bro. She doesn't want some try hard weirdo. She just wants you to be a normal dude who she can talk to, who knows how to flirt and knows how to show her a good time. All right, what you can do right now is try to think of one or two maybe humble brags or regular brags that you always bring up when you're talking to a girl. Maybe it's something about your job, maybe it's one of your accomplishments. Whatever it is, be aware of it and even think of how you can bring it up in a more normal and not a try hard way, if you're even gonna bring it up at all. Now one hint for 
talking about yourself without sounding like an asshole is to use baiting. And this is basically letting her ask you questions and sort of dig into a subject rather than you just kind of going on and on about it without her asking. So let's say for me, a girl asks what I do. I could say, oh, like I'm a YouTuber, I travel the world and do whatever the hell I want. And like, cool, but I probably sound kind of like a dick, right? But instead if I'm like, yeah, I work online. She said, oh, you work online, what do you do? Well, I make videos. So, oh, you make videos, what do you make videos about? Well, I make videos for YouTube. And then she keeps asking questions, she has to kind of dig into it, and then by the time she figures it out, it's sort of like she's earned it, and she's also asked me every step of the way, so it's information that she wanted, and she's gonna value that more, bro. All right, man, now let's head back home for point number seven. Hey, I've got you on my mind. We back, and it's time for number seven. And that is to turn her on. Now bro, this might be the most important one of all because if you don't turn her on, then none of the other things even really matter. She's not gonna see you as more than a friend. She wants you to get her feeling sexual. She wants you to make her feel like a woman. And you should know how to build up the sexual tension and turn her on by now, bro. But if you don't, here's a couple tips. Touch her throughout the interaction, you know, touch her shoulder, touch her elbow, and lead her around by the small of her back. And you can also try to talk a little bit slower and make deeper eye contact with her. Not, you know, creepy eye contact like, hey, how's it going? Creepy as fuck, right? More like relaxed eye contact, talking slow, like, hey, where are you from again? Oh, California, huh? You're totally a California girl. I should have known it the whole time. <laughs> For sure. Boom. She's already turned on, bro. And if your girl's watching this right now, I'm sorry. But yeah, try doing those things, bro, and you're gonna be able to turn her on really quickly. All right, man, if you start doing these things, women are gonna love you for it, and you're instantly gonna set yourself apart from all these other boring-ass, annoying dudes. And if you wanna learn how to meet more women, then make sure to check out this video right here. In it, you're gonna learn the seven best places to meet women. Anyway, I'll talk to you in the next video. It's gonna have a big surprise for you, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, bro, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.